Oh, Scott, have you seen who's coming in today? Your favourite. The clinic's most feared patient is booked in later today. It's always quite concerning when you see must be muzzled on yes, their patient card. Yes, bright red. Yes, gauntlets at the ready, but fingers in your pocket. Yeah, awesome. Every six months or so, the word bam bam will flash up on my screen. And yes, it's always a day that you know that the adrenaline is going to be flying high. Bam bam. Ah, no. But as soon as Scott and Bam Bam are alone, no. Hostilities break out. Oh, no. If he came in growling, everyone would know where they stood. Don't be nasty, come on. But because he comes in very calmly and then launches within seconds, he is an exceptionally dangerous pet. Oh, no. Don't be horrible. No. Stop that. I think we're going to need some more drugs today. Sometimes when I take him and he is very long and hairy, and it's not because I'm negligent, but I can only have him anaesthetised a couple of times a year. People say to me, surely you can take him to the groomers and just give him a sedation. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Because even under sedation, he's still growling, right? And he's trying to fight for his life. So whatever anybody did to this dog, historically, they did a real number on him. <laughs> So far, Scott is the only vet who hasn't turned Sheena and Bam Bam away. Mum's a bit upset today. She doesn't like to bring you in, you know that. The reason why Scott's been so amazing is he's A, never thrown me out with Bam Bam, and what Scott never did is he never judged me. Bye, baby. Bye, hon. Bam Bam, come on then, buddy. Let's go. Good boy. Yeah, it's just yeah, shaking. Yeah. Look at him, poor little thing. He doesn't realise that I have to do it. Because he's a dog, he doesn't understand. <laughs> Please give me a dog back at the end of the day, because he means so much to me. And I'll look after him well, and we'll um, give you a call once he's working up. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll be seeing you later. Okay. Oh, right, so we'll do our usual technique. Okay, I'll slide this through the door. Scott has to literally treat Bam Bam like a wild animal to sedate him. It's primitive, but effective. Okay, you've got him? I've got him. It's all about fear. He's fearful of me, and I'm definitely fearful of him. OK. Let's see what happens. Come on. <gasps> Ooh, yowza. It's, a, it's always a day that you need a stiff drink when Bam Bam comes <laughs> in. A bit dozy. Yeah, those drugs kicking in. Right, OK. Finally, Bam Bam appears to be docile enough to be handled. Just always be careful you remember this guy actually growls in his sleep. Even with the muzzle on, your adrenaline is, is pumping high. We should keep a very close eye on the depth of this anaesthetic for our safety as well as his. My heart's pounding. I'm shaking a little bit. I've still got to do my job as well as trying not to get eaten, so nerves on, on tender hooks. So do you want to do the fur and the feet? Yep. And I'll do the body bits. All on you. While Bam Bam is under, Sheena has also asked Scott to clean his teeth. Have you done the hairdressing before, Ryan? No, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never claimed to be a groomer. A shearer, however. He's a very, very, very good vet because he puts animals first. He's empathetic to the owners, but what I see about Scott is that his real concern is for my dog, you know, and to make sure that he's okay, and that means everything to me. Dental's all finished down this end. Scott's now completed Bam Bam's dental work. But Emma has discovered something worrying. Scott, he's just got a bit of a situation on his tail here. Mm, whatever it is, it doesn't look very nice. To find something that looks that angry and that nasty is a massive cause for concern. The problem is the mass is so large that once removed, it will leave a wound that will be impossible to close. A mini amputation is the only answer. Yes, hello, Scott. Hi there, Sheena. How are you doing? I'm OK. OK, so look, that tail lump. It came up very, very quickly. Scott's yeah. now seeking permission that, that, from Bam Bam's uh, owner, Sheena, worry, to go ahead with surgery. So I always say it's best that we remove it straight away. What do you mean? Actually take the end of his tail off. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes being a vet is about offering up decisions which are difficult. And to say, I'm going to take a section of your dog's tail away, no dog owner is going to feel good about that. There's nothing good about that at all. 
Is it going to be in a lot of pain? I don't have any concerns regarding pain. Okay. Okay, all right, trust me, and I'll uh, give you a call as soon as you've woken up. Okay. All right then, see you later. Thank you. Bye. As soon as Bam Bam's grooming is finished, Scott takes him into theatre to remove the tip of his tail. Okay, so you can grab the tip of that. Emma and Scott have been working together for seven years. A lot of people do say behind every good vet is a good vet nurse. Okay. We have such a relationship during a surgical procedure or during an emergency situation. I know what he wants before he wants it. I don't want to take off any more tail than that. I'll send it away and we'll just see what the biologists say. A sample will now be sent to the lab to find out if the lump is malignant. Boy, let's put you back in there while you're still being a good boy. Sheena's a great owner, but I suspect that she's going to be in bits when she comes to pick up Bam Bam, and I just can't reassure her. At the moment, I just simply don't know. It could come back as something absolutely fine. It could come back as really bad news, so we just need to wait and see. And the only time I get to pet you, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Sheena, you all right? Let's get <laughs> your be... boy back. A short time later, <laughs> Sheena and her partner, Neil, arrive to pick up Bam Bam. Come on, then. Good boy, that's it. Good lad. A sample from the lump on his tail has been sent to the lab for analysis, but it will take several days to find out the results. Here we go. Out to see Mummy. Sheena is still very shaken. B, why are you coughing? Is it because he wants to get to me? I knew she'd taken it badly, but then to see the reaction of her to actually collapse on the floor like that, I've never seen anything like it. How are you feeling about everything? It's scary. It's really heartbreaking. And I had to take a couple of tranquilizers that then made me really think it was a dream after I heard about the tail. So we'll be sending it off to the pathologist. I know you're worried about it, but it's something that we'll have to just hold fire on concern for three days and wait until that result comes back. OK. Taking a little piece of him off is traumatic. He doesn't understand it. Mm, take so care, much. all right, no worries. Pleasure. Fingers crossed. The news is going to be good for her. Trouble. See you, buddy. Hi, Sheena, how are you? Hi. Good to see As you. As for Sheena, she's been anxiously waiting for Bam Bam's lab results. Yeah, Grab a seat. On, it's been three days since Scott removed a nasty cyst from his patient's tail. Oh, he kind of knows who you are. Already not so oh, keen, is he? No, no, he's not. <laughs> I've oh. not got a scalpel on me, I promise. Come on, Bobs. I've got some good news for you, OK? Yeah. And that the results have come back that the mass is benign. So, in other words, nothing nasty, nothing to worry about. I'm so relieved. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. And you know how much I love this dog. I'm so happy. Are you happy to hear that? Sheena reacted brilliantly. You know, she's massively relieved and she can go on living with Bam Bam for a very long time and Bam Bam can go on tormenting me. I never thought that I was a very good dog stylist until <laughs> you now have matching haircuts. <laughs> I must have done That's something right. Well, yeah. Next time I do them, you should come yeah. in. I'll do a two-for-one yeah. offer. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that would be really, really nice. Great to see you. You too, you too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh. Wow. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.